Hello Galactic Family, leaving time is a very confusing concept for many of our grounded ones, as time has been the one stable component of their 3D life. However, once their consciousness began to resonate to the fourth dimension, they realized there was a deep urge to be creative and to use their mind in a more exploratory, creative manner. But, just as they began to fly off in their mind, something in their daily life called them to return. Of course there were the artists and the mystics who chose their inner world over the outer worlds. Sometimes that worked for them, but sometimes they found themselves without the necessities of the third dimensional reality. So how can our grounded ones find their way to functioning in the third dimensional reality of time, space, polarity and cause and effect while they also leave time in order to experience the now of the new fifth dimensional energy fields that are increasingly merging with the third dimensional life? How does one live a third dimensional life of being ruled by the clock, while they also escape into the fifth dimensional now for some deep rest? relaxation and education. This question is more easily answered than it is lived. For one thing, as our grounded ones begin to expand their primary attention into their fifth dimensional frequency of consciousness, they begin to lose track of time, space becomes a multidimensional reality, and their consciousness begins to wander into the higher dimensions without the permission of their 3D mind. The first meanderings of the 3D mind beyond its normal limitations of a 3D reality, often takes their wandering consciousness into the fourth dimensional astral world. In these lowest realms of the fourth dimension, often known as the lower astral plane the 3D mind perceives the fears that have created limitations to take hold in their daily life. When the owner of that 3D mind, is able to look into his or past fears and sorrows, they create a pathway through which their mind can expand into the higher subplanes of fourth dimension in which their innate imagination becomes activated. However, fears of failure must be faced before one can step into the reality of being a creative person. Most of these fears were implanted in them when they were young. They brought forth these unresolved fears from another incarnation, or the fears are social fears, which an awakened person is aware of. If one can look into their personal and social fears, stand tall and send these fears the healing force of unconditional love, then transmute these healing fears into the next higher octave of reality with the violet fire, they can open the portal to their multidimensional self. Once a connection is made with one's multidimensional self, their multidimensional mind becomes activated. Then, because their multidimensional mind is activated, they have a multidimensional operating system, which can translate the fifth dimensional and beyond perceptions into the conscious awareness of the 3D brain. The 3D brain is not capable of perceiving, understanding, or interacting with higher frequency versions of reality. Therefore, the owner of this brain walks daily through a multidimensional reality, but he she is only aware of the lower frequency third dimensional aspects of their life. However, now that higher frequencies of light are entering Earth's atmosphere, more and more people are beginning to perceive that which had always been invisible, silent, unimaginable and even impossible. Their reaction of perceiving beyond the veil can be quite emotional, and many choose to totally ignore that which they cannot understand. It is for this reason that we, your galactic family and higher dimensional expressions of yourself, are contacting our human expressions through as many channels as possible. By channels, we mean the ground ones who remember, or never forgot their higher dimensional expressions of self in the higher dimensional versions of reality. Some of the newly awakening ones can be shocked, or even frightened, by the visions, auditory messages that only they hear, bodily sensations and or remembered dreams of other realities. Our grounded ones have been taught since childhood that their physical world is the only world. 
Yes, there is the sky, but that only included where airplanes fly. But now, these third dimensional frequencies of the sky are expanding into and blurring with the higher dimensional frequencies of reality. However, the third dimensional brain is only calibrated to perceive and consciously interact with the third dimensional frequency of reality. Fortunately, only about 3% of your physical brain is needed for the limited, third dimensional perceptions of reality. So, what is happening within the 97% of your unused brain? We are within your now to inform you that the part of your brain that is NOT being used in your third dimensional versions of reality, is actually very active in your higher dimensional versions of reality. In fact, the higher dimensional realities that you can perceive are actually higher dimensional realities of your own multidimensional self. However, the controllers of the third dimension, who are largely limited to only 3% of their brain, must make sure that those whom they believe they are controlling also limit themselves to 3% of their brain. This is very frightening to the 3D controllers because they are aware that because they live their reality within the lower third dimension of power over others, they cannot expand their consciousness into the higher dimensions. What these ancient, controlling ones never learned was that when one acts via power over others format, they have totally separated themselves into an individual format. This individual consciousness format is usually driven by the need to maintain power over others. Being only a 3D individual with a no contact with their higher dimensional expressions of self, limits their experience of reality to the 3D matrix. Most of these seemingly human, but actually devoid of human heritage are not aware that they have trapped themselves in the 3D matrix. There are still millions of others who are still trapped in the 3D matrix, over whom they can exert their power over others. However, the fifth dimensional light that is continuing to flow deeper and deeper into Gaia's atmosphere and planetary body is beginning to infiltrate and override the third dimensional light waves. In the same manner that clear water becomes pink as you drip red dye into it, the third dimensional light becomes fourth dimensional, and eventually, fifth dimensional as the fifth dimensional light waves continually intermingle with the third and fourth dimensional frequencies of light. Those, whose consciousness can only attend to the third and lower fourth dimensions of reality, will not be able to perceive the higher dimensions of reality. And, even if they could briefly perceive these higher frequencies, they could not believe that they are real. They cannot believe that the higher dimensions are real because, then their own conscience, which was lost during their early years of indoctrination, would be ignited and they would not be able to treat others in a fashion that they would not treat themselves. It was an important part of their early brainwashing that it was weak to not have power over others. None of these children wanted to be weak, so they sought to have power over others. You realize how much of your third dimensional reality is based on competition and the winner is better no matter how they win. Of course, we are happy to perceive that more and more members of humanity are only seeking their own power within. When one seeks their own power within, they begin the process of returning to a conscious connection with their own multidimensional self. Power over others is limited to the third dimensional and lowest astral planes. Power over is a short term solution because, eventually, those who they have tried to maintain power over will find their own power within. Once one regains their own power within they have the courage, and tenacity, to rise up against those who have had power over them. This cycle of, being victimized, then finally conquering the victimizer has been repeated and countable times during Gaia's long history. It has been a favored holographic reality to teach a strong sense of inner power and courage. However, Gaia tires of running this holographic program. 
For one thing, it is usually Gaia's Earth body that is left damaged by humanity's many wars. Gaia's main concern is that she is being called home into a higher dimensional expression of her planetary self. Just as humanity has greatly suffered during Earth's descent into the third dimension, Gaia the living essence of planet Earth has also suffered. One thing that many humans are still unaware is that Gaia has been silently expanding her planetary consciousness into the higher fourth and lower fifth dimensional resonance of reality. All reality has a resonance, a frequency rate, which defines the dimension of reality that is experienced for all those who reside within that reality. Gaia has resonated to the third and fourth dimensions of reality since she almost fell off her axis long, long ago. Gaia knows what many humans do not know, which is that the era of habitation of Earth's third dimensional frequency is ending. However, you must think in planetary time. Therefore, this ending could take countless years for humanity. But Gaia can see that possible reality and has set her planetary sights on expanding her resonance beyond her present third fourth dimensional frequency rate into her fifth dimensional frequency rate. Many humans have felt the inner call from Gaia, their planetary mother, to join her, and hopefully assist her, as she expands her habitation zone into the higher fourth and fifth dimension. Many shamans and astral travelers have journeyed into Gaia's fourth dimensional habitation zone. But, within this now, more and more earthbound humans are expanding their consciousness into the fifth dimension. With this fifth dimensional consciousness they are able to see our starships and even remember your nightly visits to your starships or home worlds. In other words, your multidimensional consciousness is ever expanding into the conscious reception of fifth dimensional, and beyond, energy patterns. These energy patterns can be translated as visions and or channels from your higher self, nightly visits in your higher dimensional body to your ship and or homeworld and or direct instructions from your own higher self to assist you, as you assist Gaia. Humanity is beginning to awaken from a long sleep in the third dimension. Humans often think that they are awake while they are operating via the third dimensional consciousness. However, to us in the higher dimensions, we perceive humanity as being asleep while they are in their third dimensional, physical body. And we perceive humanity as being awake as they travel in their fourth dimensional, astral body. We are very pleased to add that we are very pleased to perceive more and more of humanity as being awake as you join us on the ship, or your home world, in your fifth dimensional light body. As more and more of you flash into light body while you are awake to your third dimensional reality, you will greatly assist Gaia with her flashing into her fifth dimensional light planet. Blessings to you all. We await the vision of your wonderful light show the Arcturians 